Gene therapy is a very broad term, which really means uh, any type of treatment that's um, changing the genetic makeup in some way. Now this may be by altering the gene itself, it may be by increasing the function of um, a normal gene, it may be by inserting a new gene, there are many many types of, of, of gene therapy. Uh, but they are, we're, we're currently at the cutting edge of um, of gene therapy technology. So it is coming in to therapies in, in, in child neurology. So we've seen it in quite a lot of muscle diseases and in some children it's transformative. So we've had children in muscle diseases who would have died in early infancy and now because of progressive weakness now they're living and they're even walking. So um, it's coming into our practice and I think this is something we're going to see in epilepsy in the next few years. Um, there are prospects for gene therapy trials in humans maybe even in 2020 or 2021. Uh, so this is not science fiction now, this is reality and that's going to affect how we look after children with, uh, with Dravet syndrome. And it's also going to mean that it's really important that we diagnose children with Dravet syndrome very early and also that we think really carefully about which children are going to move forward for gene therapy. Because gene therapy as a new technology may still have unexpected side effects. Uh, there may be things that we uh, never, never thought would happen as a consequence of gene therapy. So it is a new field but really very exciting for Dravet syndrome. The reason gene therapy is exciting is that a lot of the drugs that we have are becoming increasingly good at controlling the epileptic seizures but unfortunately we're still seeing the significant problems with learning, behaviour and movement in many of the children with Dravet syndrome even if they've got control seizures and we hope by changing the fundamental genetic abnormality that we may be able to prevent those issues in children with, with Dravet syndrome.